I know I've kept you in suspense. What we're going to do, who's my inspiration this week? It's a street artist named Clems Bear. He's from Germany. His medium is cardboard, plastic, tape, spray paint, glue. He does these beautiful geometric and abstract sculptures using everyday materials, which means he never runs out of materials. They actually call it junk aesthetics, which is basically something that's just meant for beauty, not for practical use. So today, after you're done, I want you to spin it around, look at it, find the beauty in it. You're taking something, you're rearranging it, you're repurposing it, you're reusing it, and you're recreating something on your own. Let's get to it. So I talked about the street artist Clemens Berg, who is German. First of all, my beautiful book again. I love this book. It has so many. We're, we're going to just delve into this and have all kinds of fun with it. But these are some of his pieces of sculpture. Can you believe it? Cardboard, plastic bags. They remember junk aesthetics, which is beauty that has no real practical reason except for to look at and just be amazed. He does use the spray paint. We're going to use our pieces of boxes that we gathered up and use those for our colors. We don't want to be spray paint. We don't do spray paint. So take a look again. Be amazed. I love this one, the way he matched up and also unmatched some of his blacks and white. It makes your eye go from one spot to another. You can see he likes these natural colors as well. So I'm going to close the book. I'm going to also show you my idea. I have all my scraps. I had all of my boxes and I decided to do a Clemens Bat inspired sculpture. How about that? It's called Junk Aesthetics. And this is not really junk. It's actually taking something and rearranging it, repurposing it. Taking these boxes, you can see the colors. I don't know if I used this one on this one, but I could have. Look at those polka dots. The colors that are on here. Oh, and look at that. that there was actually a moon on one. I cut it out, and I think this was like a taco or something. But I used the colors to create more interest in it. And then this I found the other day. It's actually from T. Look at that. I wish I would have had that for this. I'll use it next time. I will put it in my package of papers that I save and we'll do it. Speaking of that, I have pulled out one of my corrugated cardboards. When you do sculpture, you need a base, something to have it on. And I use something thinner on this, but I'm going to do it a little smaller. Look at, we've got prisms, we've got triangles, we've got circles. We have slots everywhere. And look, we also have the tabs or the feet holding things on. You can use tape, you can use glue, you can use a stapler if you like to start these creations or to hold them together. This one's cool because it's just kind of by itself, but it tucked right in there. As you go, you're going to be designing this on your own. And every way you look at it, to me, I'm looking at it like this. It just looks like the front of a train. You know how they have that big round thing on old fashioned trains. But then again, when you look at it this way, it looks like some sort of creature. He did his specifically to just enjoy the beauty of it. His materials, like I said, were always available. I did cut some of these out and I did make some prisms, cut some circles so that once I show you, I know since you're all ready and you have all your papers ready, that you are going to be raring to go. Squares, triangles, let's put them in groups. Rectangles. I'm not sure I'm going to use this one, but you never know. It's kind of big. Look at this. This is actually sort of like a barcode, but it's too interesting not to use. Oh, I have lots. Purples. This one has yellows. So you're also you're looking for color and you're look, looking for shape. And then I have my toothpick so that I can hold it down. Even with my fingernails to get in between these little areas, I had to hold it with my toothpick. Shake that out. And I also have my wet cloth damp. It's not wet. It's just a little wet. 
for the glue. The glue will get on your fingers. So I'll put this off to the side, get my scissors and figure out maybe this could be the base. What do you think? I think that would be good because it's sturdy and it's solid. It's almost like a double piece. So let's make a prism triangle square, square. Let's do square. Remember, fold and pinch, manipulate that paper. You should be very good at it after practicing. Not a perfect one, but that's all right. Remember, whimsical, something to look at, interesting to where you want to turn it from side to side and see what's next. Going to give this a squeeze. If I wanted to, I could also take a piece of the tape and put it on the inside and actually make a shelf out of that so that it's on each side. That's going to give me a durable, sturdy, almost want to put it this way, but I can't. I'm going to start with it like this. So let's get some glue. You can plan this out before you glue, but because it's supposed to be just kind of fun, and now you know your vitamin content, circle right away, I don't know. How about, how about we do this? I'll put a little tab, foot, I like them foots. Tab's easier to say, but, and I'm gonna put this here and hold it. Remember, it's supposed to be all geometric because even though we have circles, they are still geometric. I could take, hmm, I could actually put a tab right here. It's not a tab, it's a slot. I could put it here. Let's see, would it be too heavy? I don't think so. So that means I need to put a little slot in here as well. Put my glue on. Oh, now it looks like a, looks like a horse. I could, I could actually go in that direction if I wanted to. If you see something and you're kind of like, oh, I think I want to continue, try not to put this up. Try to put your colors up. I originally, when I, oh, look at that. Now it's a giraffe. I don't know, Miss Linda. When I originally did this, I was coloring the back of these black with a marker. And let me tell you, it just didn't work for me. Hmm. How about... Let's try it. I'm going to do this really deep so that it goes from one. It'll be a flying horse. All right. Let's see. Now, since I can't see the design, I'm actually going to, like I said, make this paper do what I want. I'm going to bend it. And because this is strong, you're going to have to put lots of effort. I want this red to show. So if I do it this way, there we go. And that's going to be a nice stable area for me to do other things. All right, glue. I usually say a little glue goes a long way. Sometimes you need glue. I'm going to tip this to make it interesting. And that way it's also attached to this. We need some circles. Hmm. I need something for the circle to be stuck on. Let's do the yellow. I'll bend it. And then I'll make a foot. I'm trying to think this way, I guess. So it's all, almost a prism, not quite a prism. Put this here. Before I glue it, I think I'm going to put the slot in it for the circle that I'm going to attach to it. Put it here. Hold it. This is thicker than the other cardboard that I was using, the other recycled. Recycle, repurpose, make it into fantastico beautiful. Now, if I put it this way, you won't be able to see it. But if I glue these two together, it'll be too heavy. Let's just do it this way. I'll put the, oh, it matches. So I'm going to put it up to one side so that my slot's going to go in there. And that way it'll have a view on both sides. Even though this is fun and it's kind of, my favorite word today is whimsical, you do need to put some thought into it. And think about, is this too heavy? You might find out once you stick it in, if it's too heavy and it doesn't work, go just take it off and try another piece. It's your first time doing something. It's a learning process. Now I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Oh, chamol. I guess I'm going to lift it up completely. There we go. The glue is not enough for that. So guess what? Miss Linda is going to get her tape out and I'm going to put a piece of tape on it. It's probably because of the foot that I used was much too small. All right, now I'm going to slide this in, give it a press. 
Using the gloopy gloppy glue is even better. Look at that, just sitting up there now. You build this, hmm, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna stick this here so I don't waste it. And look at this thing. Oh, maybe I put two slots in it. Miss Linda's getting excited. I'm getting some ideas. Two slots and then I'm going to stick it this way. Oh, maybe I better kind of measure this. I guess I have to cut the gentleman's pant leg. All right, now. What I could also do is pull this down and make a tab out of it as well. Look at that, it's actually, this time it's a shelf. So, watch this, glue here, glue here, glue here, and let's see if my idea works. Like a glove, look at that. Oh, you all are gonna get tired because Miss Linda's gonna be like, I wanna keep doing this over and over. This will have been the third one I made. Now I think this might be a little too heavy for that. So I am gonna reinforce it with some glue. And also, if you want to, take and make a little piece to go in there to hold it. That is also a tab. This is where your toothpicks are gonna come in. There we go. Look at that. I, I've gotta find a place for this that's like the best. If I don't do it flat, what if I just do, hmm, let's see, where would you put it? Where would you put it? Oh, I can just put it over the top of that. There we go. And I say this a lot, but it is almost like putting a puzzle together. And I'm gonna hold it. Count to 10 or so. I'm not holding it as long as you probably should, and I'm really kind of lucky because it's all working out now. Now I think I'll pass on that one. Purple, blues, I've got lots of reds, lots of blues. I need a purple. So I'm going to create one more, look at that, still on my hand. One more prism, triangle prism. Triangles are easier because you can see them. And I think I'll take this one since I have this tape. Well, let's double secure it. I always say, when I say measure one, twice, cut once, same thing as if you think it's strong, make it stronger. All right, one last piece, and then I will let you get to it because this is really fun. Oh, should I? Maybe I'll just set it right on. No, I don't care for that. Oh, okay, well, let's do like, these could be ears. This is gonna be some sort of creature. This one will have to hold on a bit longer because, or guess what? Miss Linda was talking about double securing it. You'll have to cut the tape because it's too thick. I'm gonna double secure this, ready? Let's see if you can see how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna slip it in. <gasps> I need one more hand. I'm gonna slip it in. I got it. No, I don't. How about this? I take it off, I slip it in, I press it down, there's always something to learn, especially with art. Check it out. Now it looks like a spaceship or something. <sniffs> Watch out, new cartoons coming soon. Have a blast with this, please send me some pictures. I cannot wait to see your street art, junk aesthetic sculptures. Who knew street art could be so beautiful and so practical using recycled items? This is going to be so much fun that you're going to find yourself cutting up all the boxes in the house to make more and more and more. I know I had fun doing it and I will see you next time.